Hey guys, it's Stephanie and I'm here in New Jersey with Teddy Geiger. We're going to talk a little bit. So if your, I want to maybe call it a project, Yes. Is was a baby of two other bands or musicians or anything like that, who would your parents be? Like an influence question. I would say Weezer and Ben Folds. Okay, fair enough. Those, those are kind of my two biggest influences and they were the first two records I ever got was Weezer's first The Blue album and actually it was a mixtape my cousin had made me of Pinkerton and The Blue album and then uh, the second CD I ever got was Bill Folds. Okay. Whatever, whatever, amen. The bus. Okay, if you had treasure, where would you bury it? If I had treasure, I would bury it If I had treasure, I would bury it. Um, I'd bury it beneath the ocean. Any specific part or reason, maybe? Well, because I feel like it would be more difficult to get to. Okay. I'd bury it uh, deeper than than you'd be able to humanly go. So you would need Just have some sort of robot okay. to go retrieve it. Okay. And those aren't those aquatic robots are expensive. So yeah. So. Hopefully I'd have enough money to acquire the robot to get the rest of my treasure. Well, it's your wish, though. I'd have to reserve some of the treasure to buy the robot. That's a good idea. I'd need the robot to bury it, so I'd already have it. <laughs> All right, how was that? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> if anything crazy could happen during your set tonight, what would you want to happen? Maybe like a celebrity appearance or anything crazy? I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd just like to play a great show. That would be the... That'd be no, the technical issues, no technical issues. No technical issues. Everything goes smooth. Well, Everyone there for. is excited and uh, energized. Those are my favorites. Okay. Um, and then Kevin Spacey comes. Okay. <laughs> so answer this with the first moment that comes to mind. What was one favorite personal highlight of your career? It doesn't have to be like the, like the most exciting or the most like you know, in a professional way, just like personally, what's the one thing that you think of first when you think of your whole journey? Um, yeah, I don't know, that's a hard one. Just something random, I don't know, like meeting your favorite celebrity or hearing your first song, like your song on the radio for the first time or... I guess the first personally. time, with the first big tour I was ever on was opening for Hillary Duff. Oh, wow. And we played the first three shows were these like big amphitheaters and um, you could see everybody and there were like thousands of people yeah. there and I remember just being horrified because I was just <laughs> so nervous every night and then after that there was darker in the room so you'd just be able to see like you know the first hundred yeah. people and it was like, but the first couple this. ones you just see everybody listening to you and I just remember being like <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'd only played like 10 shows Prior before to that, so it was like... Got thrown right into it. Mind blown, yeah. So give us a really quick rundown of everything from your morning wake-up call to the stage. Normal okay. day. This tour has been pretty, pretty good. We generally, we're, we're all kind of sharing a room, so we'll all wake up together and be like, all right, uh... Everyone's usually hungry. I always want coffee. So those are like the first two things to work out. And then um, usually like we'll drive and someone will be DJing some tunes on the way to the show. We get in, sound check, say hello to some fans, hang out, get food again. It's been, it's mostly just food, just music, just food and music, and coffee. It's good those are the big, those are the big three. So you're no stranger to the music industry. You've been in it for a while, like getting noticed and everything. If you could tell yourself before you got your big breaks and started getting noticed, like before you're playing those amphitheaters, one piece of advice, what would you have told yourself? Just don't, even if you're terrified, keep getting up on stage and keep writing songs and playing them for people. And even if you think they suck and people are telling you they suck and it does not matter. The only way to get better is to keep doing it and keep falling on your face. So just keep Keep falling. Keep screwing it up. It's, you know. No, because you learn that way, and I feel like a lot of people, you know, they're like, yeah, get like discouraged. I want to play out, but I'm not any good. And it's like, the only way you're going to get better is by, by doing it. Yeah. So, 
yeah, don't don't let that hold you back. You gotta start. And then you'll meet people and you'll start to make connections. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that's kind of how it all falls into place. And the music business is a lot smaller than everybody. You know, as soon as you start doing oh, yeah. it and you start, you start running into people, people all the time. everyone knows each other. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So what's one thing that not many people know about you, unless maybe they've toured with you or they've known you for a while? Maybe like a little secret that not many people know. Um, secret? That sounds so dark. All it doesn't have to be too crazy. <laughs> a random fact. Okay. Um, well, I have two dogs. What are their names? Buddy and Monkey. Oh, well, the other one, it's named Theo, but we call him Monkey. What kind of dogs are they? Monkey's a Shih Tzu, and Buddy is a Shih Tzu Poodle. Oh, 